Hi there, it's Mr. Shifley here. You know, it's spring now and we're seeing a lot of sunshine, but also some rain showers. And when those two things mix together, sometimes it makes a rainbow. So hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of rainbows here sometime soon. Uh, so today we're gonna paint rainbows. Um, you're gonna need a flat brush and you're gonna need paint. I'm using these watercolor paints. Um, if you don't have a brush, if you don't have paint, that's okay. You can draw along with markers or crayons or what are you, whatever you have on hand. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna paint a rainbow and we're gonna use my favorite colors. So first I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna get it wet. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Then I'm gonna swish it in the paint. Swish, swish, swish. And then I'm gonna brush it on the paper. Brush, brush, brush. It's gonna tiptoe. Just this part of the brush is just gonna tiptoe. Oops. Tiptoe across the paper. Tippy toes. Okay, good. That looks pretty good. Let's try another color. Rinse my brush. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Swish it in the paint. Swish, swish, swish. Hmm. Where's my blue? I need a little more blue. There we go. Keep swishing. Now I'm gonna paint, paint, paint. Here we go. Oh, here, it's still gonna tiptoe, but I don't want it to mix with this orange, so I'm gonna leave a little white line, just a little white line, in between each color so that they don't blend together. Ooh, I'm being really careful. Oh, it touched a little bit. It's okay, keep going. Keep going, just keep tiptoeing. Like that. Okay, there's one more color, orange and blue. Let's do another color. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Swish, swish, swish. Paint, paint, paint. Just on the tiptoes. Don't touch the other colors. I'm keeping each color. Ooh, a little blue guy on that one. That's okay. I like it. I like the brush strokes. Each color is the width of the brush, which is about a half an inch. Dunk, dunk, dunk. I think I have room for one more color. I have all my favorite colors up there except for pink, so I'm gonna use pink. Swish, your favorite color is pink too? Okay. Get some pink on there. And it's gonna tiptoe next to the blue, but not touching it. There, there. I still, I wanna put clouds down here, but I need this to dry before I do that. So right now my rainbow is finished until I do the next step. What, it's a, you said it's the wrong color? Well, these are my favorite colors. What, and also one, two, three, four. There are four colors in this rainbow? I know, I know. Usually a rainbow has seven colors and usually it goes in rainbow order. Roy G. Bibb, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. But I just made this rainbow for me. So I just made it with my favorite colors. It doesn't have to look exactly realistic. So this art that we made reminds me of the artwork of a famous artist named Frank Stella. Now, I know what you're thinking. This artwork doesn't really look like a rainbow. It's black and white, but doesn't it have a, an upside down U shape here? Okay, you, you, don't, you don't trust me on this one, okay. Yeah, when I first saw this artwork, 
I thought it was kind of boring and I thought maybe Frank Stella was kind of lazy or something. It's just black and white and it's just lines. But one time I got a chance to see one of these paintings up close. And when I did that, I realized there were little pencil marks on the canvas that showed that he had taken a ruler and a pencil and had very carefully measured each one of these lines by hand. And then once he painted, he didn't erase those lines. So he wanted to show the process, the act that he had to do to make this painting. The other thing I learned was that he didn't use a, like a artist brush like this. He used a painter's brush like this. Somebody that you, a brush that you use to paint your house. And he didn't use artist paint like this. He used house paint like this. So, um, and he did that because he used to be a, a house painter before he was an artist. And he wanted to bring that type of painting into the, into the art world. So I started to realize, oh, this painting isn't supposed to look beautiful like a rainbow. It's supposed to show the process of painting. This painting is supposed to be about painting. And I started to think, that's pretty cool. Um, so, um, if you notice, uh, like his artwork changed over the years, um, and it started to become, he started to add color and he started to add other shapes and three dimensional forms to his paintings, drawings, and prints. And then his artwork also started to become more sculptural. So I like that his artwork has changed over the years, but I also like that my, my, my own understanding of his artwork has also changed over the years. Now, I like his, I like these lined paintings that he did. I like that all the lines, you know, they, they're basically made, each line is the width of, a, the width of a brush, right? So each line is on his painting is, is this wide. Um, so I, I think we should try to make, while our rainbow painting is drying here, I think what we should do is we should make a Frank Stella painting where we have a bunch of lines and each line is the width of our brush. So let's try that together. So I have my flat brush here and I'm just going to use this, the wide part of the brush to make all my lines in this artwork the same width. And the lines might change, they might curve this way or that way but they're all gonna have the same width, the width of the brush, which in this case is about an in, half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch, I didn't measure. And just like my rainbow earlier, and sort of like Frank Stella, I'm gonna leave a little line, a little white line in between each color. And this artwork is not trying to look like anything else. It's just trying to look like paint. So this is an abstract artwork.
Well, that took some time, and it took a lot of concentration, but it kind of felt good to really concentrate on something abstract for a while. And this isn't my usual way of making artwork, so it also felt kind of good to try something new, to try something I hadn't tried for a while. So I feel pretty good about that. It, it just felt good making it. All right, that took long enough that I think this is mostly dry now. So back to this rainbow, I think what I'm actually gonna do is put some Frank Stella inspired designs in here. Or clouds. It's not exactly like Frank Stella. I mean, for one thing, he was com he he makes completely abstract art most of the time. This is just kind of fun and stylized. Get some clouds in there, and then for the background, I think I'm going to do these just straight lines, or maybe I could zigzag them or something. No, just straight lines. Okay, that's all I have for today. I hope you had fun and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.